Welcome to my guide on how to make the tier 99 time and space medic. For this you will need to have 99 archaeology and 250,000 chronos. First off you will want to go to the archaeology guild and trade Israel and then buy them in the pro, uh, guild master type of 250,000. Once you have that, I'm guessing you will unlock the philosophy research. Now once you have this, you can inspect it. And then you need to figure out what your research team can do with this, as it does feel rather special. So for that, we will now need to make your way to the research team, which is southeast. And then from here, just management, go to special, and then this will require 30 minutes. After you have done it, the reward, you will be able to find a crystal matic and an encandle matic with the shards rate the matic time and space. I will get back to you in about five hours ish or so, because I do currently already have a dig site research team in process. Now that my research team is done studying the philosophy, I'll reclaim the report. And then you will now know how to infuse the crystal matic along with the incandle matic. Keep in mind that your augmented incandle and the crystal matic, they cannot be augmented. So you need to use a separator, which does require 115 invention to get your perks back. Keep in mind that your item also has to be a level 15 to get it. Once you have your perks back, now time to make the crystal matic. For here, teleport to a thill, and keep in mind you will need a 4000 harmonic dust, and then use the dragon matic on Lady Athil. And then without no confirmation, she will make the dragon matter, the crystal matter. From here, try to investigate it. And then it will tell you to go back to the archaeology place. Now the items in my inventory, I have the full four pieces of the candle. Just in case you do not have the Encandle Matic, you will need to have another Dragon Matic. And then you'll be able to make the Encandle Matic at the Bandos Warforge area. From here, try to investigate it and see if you're able to do it. And then keep bringing it closer and closer to the monolith. Once you're Right there, you'll be able to combine it to make the time and space. Now there is an issue as my matic is augmented, I will need to get an augmenter dissolver. Go to the workbench and then make an augmenter dissolver. For this you will need a 35 delicate parts and then 35 cover or you can also just buy this from the Grand Exchange. Use the dissolver on your Encando Matic. And then you'll get the right one. Head back to the Archaeology Guild. And we'll go back to the monolith. Once 
once you're there, use the matted, both of them together, and you'll get nothing interesting. However, if you put investigate, you'll automatically convert them with no confirmation window, which for whatever reason, that is good and bad. Afterwards, use your augmenter on the matic of time and space. Now, as for the perks, this is going to be very situational on what you want to do. Keep in mind that these perks do require the ability to make the ancient tool gizmo shells. And with these shells, instead of five slots, it gives you nine. If you use 9 silent, you have a chance to get honed 4 to hone 6. What hone 6 does is it has a 2% higher chance for each rank to successfully gather the items. And at level 20, this has a 10% chance of activating. Or what you can do is, which I did, was I put one third each component and then eight silent components. This has a chance to give you honed three to honed six along with the prosper perk. I was lucky enough to get it. And what prosper and hone does, since it's two perks in one, sadly I wasn't able to get a honed six, but honed five is good enough with Prosper, and what Prosper does, gives you a chance of finding clue scrolls while you are excavating. From using my candle, I found I usually got a random clue every three hours of skilling or archaeology. Over time, let's say I'm going for 120. This perk should give you a good amount of clues that hopefully will give me a lot of clues I can do another guide on just how much the clues are got. Now for this second perk, you notice I have Imp Sword 3. What this does is it converts your prayer points into a sign of porter, kind of. It'll take 30 prayer points and then it'll bank that said item. This, you will need the Ancient Elven Ritual Shard, which as of right now, it's about 31 millish. So only if you have that, or if you previously had it before, when it was 5 to 6 mil, you are all set. And the other perk that you can get with Imsold is Fortune 2. Well, you do have a chance to get Fortune 3, but I was very unlucky. What Fortune does, it has a... 0.5% chance per rank of gathering an extra uh, produce or artifact, but I don't know about the artifact. I just know about the materials that you do get, and it will send that to the bank. The imp sold, it will send items to the material storage. The fortune will not work. Now, as to get the fortune and imp sold, you will need to go to the ancient materials. For here, I like to use four historic components and then five time worn. This has a chance to get you imp sold one to four with fortune two to three. And I'll then create it. And then right there, I got an upgrade to my previous perk which is actually pretty good too so now that I got the best in slot perk for that I need to go back to the invention guild and just gizmo uh, yeah gizmo dissolver and then remove my imsol 3 fortune 2 with the new best in slot imsol 3 with fortune 3 Thank you all so much for watching this guide on how to make the Matic Time and Space Tier 99 along with a good idea on what perks to use on it. And enjoy the rest of your day.